How can a person tell if a chemical is hazardous? The first place to look is the container label. The label will differ from company to company, but it must contain specific information that makes it easy to find out the chemical's possible hazards. Chemical manufacturers, importers, or distributors must ensure that each container of hazardous chemicals leaving the workplace is labeled, tagged, or marked. Employers must ensure that the labels on incoming containers of hazardous chemicals are not removed or defaced. In addition, the employer must ensure that the workplace labels or other forms of warning are legible in English and prominently displayed on the container or readily available in the work area throughout each work shift. Other types of warnings may be used as long as they convey the required information and the identity of the containers to which they are applicable. Some examples of other types of warning signs are placards, process sheets, batch tickets, or operating procedures. If a substance is transferred from its original container into a portable container, which is not labeled, the portable container must be labeled to identify the contents of the container. All unattended containers must be labeled. In the case where a hazardous chemical is transferred to an unlabeled container intended only for immediate use by the employee who performed the transfer, the portable container does not need to be labeled. For example, a nurse preparing drugs for direct administration to a patient would not need to label the portable container. Chemical manufacturers, importers, and distributors, or employers who become newly aware of any significant information regarding the hazards of a chemical shall revise the labels for the chemical within six months of becoming aware of the new information and must ensure that those labels on the containers of hazardous chemicals that are shipped after that time contain the new information. As of June 1, 2015, all labels will be required to have pictograms, a single word, hazard, and precautionary statements, the product identifier, and the supplier identification. Let's take a look at a sample label to see how this information might be displayed. At first glance on the label, you can see the hazard pictograms. It is evident from these pictograms that this is a health hazard and this product is also flammable. Notice the single word. It simply says, danger. To clearly define the specific health hazards of the chemical, there must be a hazard statement. The hazard statement for this label says, highly flammable liquid and vapor may cause liver and kidney damage. There also has to be precautionary statements. Notice the precautionary statements here say, keep container tightly closed, store in a cool, well-ventilated place that is locked, and so forth. It is extremely important to follow the precautionary measures listed in this section of the label. For example, this label states, only use non-sparking tools, use explosion-proof electrical equipment, take precautionary measures against static discharge, ground and bond container and receiving equipment. The first aid recommendations are also listed in the precautionary statements area. Notice in this label, it says if exposed, call poison center. If on skin or hair, take off immediately any contaminated clothing, rinse skin with water. It is also required on the label to have the product identifier, to have the product name, and the supplier identification. This is especially important if there is an emergency that happens with this hazardous chemical. Remember, the label does not contain every detail of how to handle this chemical properly. Rather, the label makes it easy to find out at a glance about the chemical's possible hazards and the basic steps you can take to protect yourself. Some chemicals require specialized training in order to handle them properly to avoid potential dangers. For more detailed information on how to handle the chemical properly, refer to the SDS, Safety Data Sheet.